All right, we are going back in time, sort of. About a year ago, Arby's launched their uh, prime rib cheesesteak. They brought it back. I have one right off camera. It's right there, and it was in this bag. These are the facts. These are the hard-hitting facts you get over here on the endorsement food reviews. So uh, I've talked enough. Let's go. I'm going to eat this uh, sub. It is uh, lunchtime, almost. Uh, but here we go. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, this is the prime rib cheesesteak, not the Philly cheesesteak. I think when I reviewed it a year ago, I kept trying to get a Philly cheesesteak, an authentic uh, Philly cheesesteak out of my head for the review purposes because they're just touting this as a uh, prime rib cheesesteak. So there it is right there, $6.29, roasted peppers, provolone cheese, prime rib and then the bun so i think a year ago i don't think i know they actually offered a spicy version because i actually reviewed the spicy version but uh, there was no spice so i don't think they put the jalapenos on or any type of sauce uh, so i went with the spicy a year ago uh, there was no option for spicy six dollars and 29 cents not the largest sandwich right there six dollars and 29 cents i do enjoy the colors of the uh peppers right there so uh here we go without further ado i'm going to take a bite of the returning prime rib cheesesteak now i got a couple comments over the past uh couple videos saying hey did you see this new sandwich well i think a couple of them said new sandwich and i'm like that's not new that came out a year ago and some others said hey guess what's back yes he's back back again all right, so here we go. Let's go. I'm all over the place taking a bite. Hmm. Okay. All right. Needed to get a little beverage. I uh, got a little mango jaritos. Check it out right there. Mango jaritos. I can't roll my, uh, oh, I can't roll my R's. All right, so listen. This has a really nice flavor. I think they could have put um, a little more cheese, a lot more cheese. I think in the last one, I actually did show all of the uh, gooey provolone uh, when I opened it up. And I don't really want to play too much with this. I mean, uh, I guess it's in there, but I wasn't tasting that much of it. Check it out. Provolone kind of all up in the middle right there. Uh, let's take a second bite. All right, I will say this. I really do enjoy the uh, flavor of the onions and the peppers on there. Uh, and I already mentioned how I enjoy the color of those peppers, uh, the red and the yellow. Um, I like this. I just want it to be a little bit uh, bigger. I need it to be longer. Michael Scott. Um, but I like the flavor. And again, I'm not comparing it to a cheesesteak. It is totally different than any uh, cheesesteak you're going to get. Uh, the bread definitely sets it apart from the authentic Philly cheesesteaks. Uh, what is it called? The Amarosa? I always get that wrong. That type of bread that they use uh, in Philly that is so nice, has a little crunch on the outside, all soft and pillowy on the inside. Uh, but this is okay. I mean, they brought it back. It's only been a year and uh, Arby's is like, I guess it's sold well enough uh, to bring it back. Uh, so I hopped on it, see if I liked it better. I'm probably gonna like this a little bit better because I think I was disappointed last time. I have to go back and watch that video uh, because I ordered the spicy and it wasn't spicy. I think I even said in the video, I'm like, are you waiting for uh, a spice rating? Uh, there is none. Yeah, that was a savage review. You want me to tell you about it? That's a zero out of 10 on the heat meter. 
All right, so listen, I'm gonna take one more bite. I'm gonna give it a rating, uh, 629, probably 549, 579, make it a tad bigger, uh, but the bun was soft and everything on the inside was good. And even though I wasn't getting the flavor of the cheese, uh, I can't fault them because I did open it up and it was there. Final bite. No, well, I mean, it's a decent sandwich. All right, so listen, let's give it a rating. On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of. I'm going to give the, uh, what was it called again? The prime rib cheesesteak from Arby's, not Hardee's. I don't think I said Hardee's in this video, but uh, a lot of times when I do Arby's reviews, I mistakenly say Hardee's sometimes and vice versa with the Hardee's reviews. But this is from Arby's and it gets a rating of. Whew, decent, decent, slightly overpriced, but I get it. A little bit bigger, a little more cheese, or a uh, sharp provolone. That would have been nice. A little sharp provolone, give me a little punch, a little one-two punch. Uh, that's an easy 84. I'm gonna give it an 84. That is a decent score. That rhymed as well. And uh, there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, um, yeah, well, it's back. Uh, and have you uh, tried it? Are you going to try it? Did you try it a year ago? And did this video persuade you to try it? I would like to know. So uh, I will end this video by saying rookie move. I went there. I got this. No horsey sauce. No RB sauce. That, uh, such a rookie move. Such a rookie move. All right, bonus footage. That was a rookie move, but I have this as backup. If you have never tried this, never bought this, buy this and try this.